Hi guys, it's Dave here again, and I thought I'd do some of my recent pickups. Here is a Model 1 Mega Drive, it's a high definition graphics with stereo sound model, so it's an early Model 1. You can see it's got the EXT port on the back as well as all the regular ports like RF, AV multi out and the power input. And this particular model is special because basically it's got superior audio chips inside it. That's what people say about it. And another thing that's good about it is it doesn't have the TMSS screen. In other words, you don't see the produced by or under license from Sega Enterprises as it starts up. It goes straight into the game. You can see the headphone jack there and the headphone volume slider. This machine is a little bit dirty. I do need to give it a good old clean and a, and a shine up as well. Got this from a um, retro gaming store in Bournemouth called Wares Games. So if anybody's interested, pop in there because they've got some systems and lots of games. Here you can see the model number and the serial number of the machine the expansion bay, controller ports on the front as well. And yeah, I mean, this machine is in really good condition. As I said, it's the one, it's the high definition graphics model with stereo sound, and I'm really pleased with it. Okay, my next pickup has got some similarities to that. Here is a PlayStation. Now, as you can see straight away, this is a early model one PlayStation, so to speak. So it is an SCPH 1002, as I'm gonna show you on the back. Everybody knows that the 1002, basically, just like the early Model 1 Mega Drive I showed you, has got superior audio output. This is classed as the audio farm model. You can see on the back, you've got the composite sockets, you've got the parallel ports, you've got the AV multi out, the serial, and of course the regular power connection. And uh, there's the open button, the power button, that have got the words rather than the symbols on them. And you open it up and you can see the CD drive, of course, is orientated top left rather than sort of middle to, towards the right. Now another cool thing about this particular PlayStation, which some of you who know about these models will know, this particular model actually has what's known as a CD player trick, which means that if you want to play backup games, you can play them really easily on this machine. Fire it up with no disc in, go to the CD player screen, pop in a disc and obviously secure the switch, let the disc read and stop on the CD player screen, pop your backup in and away you go. It's as simple as that. Okay, so this has been Dave showing you some of my recent pickups. I'll do some more videos of some other bits and pieces that I've picked up as well. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you again soon.